What's up you guys welcome back in this video we got a good one we're going over the fast magazine promo in motion array so I wasn't going to record a tutorial on this one but I realized after opening up the After Effects project that it requires video copilot element 3d let's go ahead and take a look at this promo make sure you guys are in the right place um, it's actually a really cool one we're going to be adding it to a promo video it's promo video time here at 8482 so as you can see, this guy um, kind of animates a different magazine booklet. If you're selling an online PDF, this is going to be an awesome thing to add to your video. First things first, you're going to want to download this. Um, and uh, the only things that are required are Element 3D. I hopped over to the Video Copilot account and actually found Element 3D. I guess I've already purchased it years ago. So I'm going to go ahead and click download on that um, and hope that I can download it. All right. We're going to download it for Windows. Go ahead, select whichever file we are downloading it on. Once that downloads, we're going to actually have to go ahead and close After Effects. So make sure that you've closed After Effects. And now we got to figure out how to install this bad boy into After Effects. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, click show in folder. It's going to show us that uh, installer. It is an extracted file. Guys, anytime there's this zipped kind of folder, we need to extract that in order to actually open it up and see what's going on inside. So we're going to do that. And then we're looking for element 3D. There's the installer right there. Double clicking that guy. It's going to ask us if we want to make changes to the computer. We're going to go ahead and select yes. All right, here we go. Welcome to the installer. We want to click agree. Um, element plugin for After Effects installer. Select which version of Adobe After Effects to install. Ooh, good question. Can we select both of them? Let's see. All right, let's go ahead and click next. Element plugin. Select the location. User documents works. And we're going to go ahead and press install mission success it's installed in 2020 it's installed in 2022 um let's go ahead and click finish all right so here we are in after effects gonna create a new composition all right generate key let's just call it that after creating the new sequence we want to create a new solid so we're going to right click in our project come down to new solid and we'll just press ok all right, so we can navigate up to the effects tab. If you don't see it, you can always come to window and just make sure that effects and presets is selected. Then we can see it. Um, and we're gonna be looking for the video copilot. All right, so we can go ahead and search element. You'll see that video copilot element. Let's go ahead and drag that effect directly onto our clip. All right, now under scene interface, we can go ahead and click scene setup on the left hand side of the screen. And then you'll be prompted to import your login information. Um, and you can go ahead and install and generate that key for element 3D. Now, once it's installed, you can go ahead and click OK. You can go ahead and close After Effects. You should be able to come up to the effects control panel, see video copilot and see element. And you can always just click that and double check. You should be able to click scene setup and then this scene setup will pop back up um, with an active key. Go ahead and delete these. All right, I'm just gonna select don't save for example. And now we're back in business. All right, so we can go ahead, come back to our fast magazine promo. You're gonna wanna download this guy and locate it once it's downloaded. Uh, wherever you selected to save it. So I'm going into this folder here. Again, you're going to want to extract that, open it up. The Fast Magazine promo is here, and we're looking for that After Effects file. So we're going to open up the After Effects folder and go ahead, double click on the Fast Magazine promo. Now we're going to get some warnings. That's okay. Depending on your computer, just navigate through that, click OK. And um, here we are on this promo. All right. Now, what's cool about this one is the images are already open for us, um, the placeholders. All right, so if we open up and look at the project, we can see that we have our different images here. Page one, we got all these, and that's where you're going to want to be placing your images. So 
You can double click page one. It's going to take you to this blank image placeholder. And what we want to do is go ahead and locate whichever image we want to drag in there. Let's drag it in and we can resize it. We want to fill this entire window. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, click transform. I can either click scale and manually scale it, or I can select, you know, fit to comp width or height. I'm going to select fit to comp height. You can see that it adjusted there and I'm going to do the same exact thing for all of these pages. All right, so once you've added all of your pages, as you can see, we can jump over to the final comp and probably what is confusing you guys is that this is completely blank. So we need to actually use Element 3D to set up our scene. So over at the control panel, if you guys go ahead and click on the E3D, uh, you will have the option to come up to the effects control panel here. You, can, you might be on your project. Navigate to the effects control on E3D. If you don't see that, just go ahead and click window and make sure that um, the effects control panel right here, E3D, is selected. And you want to click scene setup. All right, this is actually going to, you know, create our our scene. All right, and it's it's going to say here missing files, and we want to detect the missing files and relink them, um, or link them to the original. So we're going to select yes here. Uh, we want to select the magazine promo. Go ahead, click locate. We're going to enter the magazine fast promo folder. Come into the After Effects, OBJ, and it's going to be here. This magazine. Um, promo zero we want to select and go ahead and click OK. All right once it's located we want to select OK here and then we want to come from this plastic plane uh, kind of ball that it's selected and we want to select this magazine promo. Okay as you can see that kind of changed in our um, element 3D setup and then we simply want to press OK all right, and now check it out. You have completely, you know, already added all of your images. Now you've linked up the uh, magazine promo to include all those images and you can kind of scroll through and just make sure like, okay, this is looking good. Um, and you know, you have everything that, that you wanted in your promo. Final step before exporting is there is this text here that says fast magazine promo. Again, on under the project tab on the left hand side, we can go ahead, look at the text, open up that sequence, and I'm just going to remove that text for now. Um, of course, that's going to make it disappear in the final template. And in this case, I'm going to be having, you know, uh, someone's face here, they're going to be talking once this is done exporting, I'm bringing it back into Premiere, and going to continue editing it and putting it into a longer form promo video. We just want to highlight, you know, the a PDF that comes with that program by using this template. When you're ready to export, you want to come up to File, go ahead and select Export, and click Add to Render Queue. Now, we are going to want to check the best settings, just make sure that the quality is uh, selected to best, resolution is set to full, you can change the frame rate if you would like, and click OK. The output module, I'm going to change that from QuickTime to AVI. Uh, the channel should be set to RGB and I'm going to click OK and then output you want to select your um, you know location where you're going to be exporting this to I'm going to select a magazine promo and just go ahead and select the folder that I want it to be saved to and then I'm simply pressing render it's going to go through it's going to render this entire video depending on the speed and graphics card of your computer it's going to take either less or more time and that's going to be it um, this you know promo is completely done and now you can continue editing um, other videos guys this was a good one um, I'm actually glad that I hopped on and recorded this because of the VC element 3d that can get a little bit confusing if you're trying to work through this promo and you don't see anything um, but at this point you should have a complete promo video so if you do like this video give it a like uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in learning all kinds of quick simple tutorials I specialize in the video editing stuff um, but we're gonna be bringing on all kinds of people that will help you guys out with all kinds of simple tutorials and if you have questions and want you know uh, us to provide tutorials on specific softwares that you're working with um, that will help you out create a bigger impact online just drop that in the comment section below and we will get your questions answered thanks for watching